time. Hey guys, Chris here, and this is a review on the Quorum Shade Churchill. This is um, very similar in weight, as in the amount of tobacco you get, to the Toro. Let me just compare it to the Shade Toro. And um, this is 7x4 to 8. The Toro is 6x50. So, um, as you can see, inch longer, tiny bit thinner. And it's actually a little bit less tobacco. So this costs a little bit less, which is something I was a bit surprised since it just looks like a little bit of a bigger scar. It, uh, I've seen these range from nine ten pounds, and quorum are very good. I like the range, the shade especially. This is just a size I wanted to try and got quite a while back, and I've got about twenty of them. I see normal band, normal shade band. Just for also size comparisons, there is a double gordo, which is 6x60. So as you can see, um, this one's a lot more weighty. One of these uh, standard packs. I don't know what it is, but I'm always um, focusing on not ripping the pack. But, you know, that's just me. I guess I'll just go full way rip it. There we go. So, this is a um, pretty long cigar, pretty weighty. Feels pretty good in hand. I tend not to have extra long cigars like this, but um, this is going to be one of those exception times. Let me just get my phone ready to hit the stopwatch, make sure I don't forget like I did last video. Uh, bands on there loosely, that just came off. Smells very sweet, like Pete, our mascot Pete. But yeah, you know, something like a Pete, slightly ammonia type of smell. Very, very sweet. It's like very sweet, you know, a uh, little bit of sweet earthiness, but th there's not much ground in the um, shade grown version. I, I find the shade grown a lot better than the, um, than the normal sun grown stuff. Never was a huge fan of Nicaraguan cigars in general, but um, yeah, Shea Grown's definitely changed my mind on that one. So yeah, it smells pretty fantastic. Very good cigar by the smell of it. If it's just like the Toro, which it seems to be, we've got a very good cigar. Uh, little little bumps in here, nothing spectacular. In general, pretty clean. It's pretty um, soft layer. Generally soft, very smooth. I mean, this is insanely smooth. Cab seems to be on there pretty well, pretty firm anyway. Uh, not much mixing in the foot of it. Looks like a little bit here and there, but it's all in general checks out. It's pretty good. So um, instead of the, I would say V cutter on this, but um, I think I'm just gonna go with the punch today. Always keep a punch on your keys because you can get them very easily in these key rings. Oops. This one feels like it's getting a little bit blunt after all the times I've been using it. Definitely punches in a little bit there. Generally one that always... um, You can't go wrong with a punch. You can get better with a V-cutter but you know you can't go wrong with a punch. Very restricted airflow. I mean it's not Awfully restricted, but I mean, it's not a wind tunnel like I've been used to lately. <laughs> Little shards of tobacco going in the back of my mouth. Very, very sweet. Very sort of like a, a mill sweetness. I don't know, I would describe it as very smooth. Yeah. A little bit like um, Midget Gems. I believe I've used that comparison before, but if you've ever seen them. I oh, know Ice Gems. Midget Gems are the other sweet, but Ice Gems are kind of like... Um, I don't know, it's kind of like a solid frosting. I don't know how to describe them. Like little cracker things. So wherever I put my lighter, we'll get it. 
usual lighted towards the camera not too much detail but I mostly just focus on the base of it till it's lit mostly all over glowing then I focus specifically just going around the edge a little bit give it a millimetre or two deep burn If I had long matches, I prefer to use those, I just don't. Back onto the centre again. Yep. Uh, what I'm just going to do is start the stopwatch, just so we know how long this is lasting. This is a long, not quite overwhelming scar, but it's definitely a um, decent size. Very smooth, very pleasant. It's um, it's kind of difficult to pin it down. It's like a sweet earthiness, but um, again, it's pretty similar to it being a type of woodiness that you can't just pin down. But decent amount of nightiness in there. Getting very little in the draw, so it's getting kind of hard to tell. Even out the nose. It, I want to say it's like the usual generic, you know, kind of like peaty taste mixed in with the, um, mixed in with earthiness, but it's something a little bit different than that. It's very mellow. It's a very silky smooth draw. Yeah, relatively creamy. I just think this is um going quite well. I would say this is pretty much like the Toro. It's kind of hard to give a definitive um, description of this. It's, it's something a little bit different. It's just like every flavour is just very mellow. It's very nice and enjoyable. I would say this is probably the cigar anyone can get. Even if... Uh, you're not a big scar person, this is not going to overpower you or anything. Very nice, relatively sweet mill flavours. I would say there's not really much earthiness in this at all. I think that's more of uh, the sun grown thing, but the shade grown seems to avoid that. Yeah, incredibly not you. It's, uh, as I said, it is kind of hard to tell. It's very mellow scar. It's one of those very, I don't know, I would say very light. Anyone would probably enjoy it. It's not going to overpower anyone. Yep, you might like that, you might not. Maybe you want a scar with uh, a lot stronger flavour. But, no, I think it's going to be quite enjoyable. Since it's going to be a two hour smoke, maybe, um, hour and a half at least. You never know what's quite going to happen. Definitely a lot of nightiness and a little bit of um, woodiness, but not quite cedar in there. So I'll get back to you when we are on the, you know, at least a decent amount of segment down the cigar, and I'll get back to you then. So we're about 15, 16 minutes into this. Just thought I'd make a segment here just so, um, you know, I mean, we do have a bit of an ash here. But just to cement the flavor description a little bit because at the start it was pretty um 
I don't know, it's very uh, little coming through the draw. Here, there's a decent amount. Definitely, you know, a bit more potency in the flavours. Noticing definitely a lot more nuttiness. Uh, I'm also hearing some junkies outside. I'm um, not sure if that counts as part of the review, but... Mostly not in this, a little bit of woodiness, but mostly not in this. It's good, mellow, sweet taste. That's probably the best I could describe it. It's, um, I don't know, I, I keep saying it's got like a little aftertaste of midget gems, just there. I don't imagine too many people knowing the taste of that, because it's kind of like, they're like tiny little crackers with frosting on them, I guess. But that taste just like them. No, uh, no matter how much I'm puffing on this, it's um definitely not overheating or anything. I mean, it might be, but um, the flavors are just really light. This is a very um, I'd probably say this is probably one of the better beginner cigars. Although I don't know, it's it's a big cigar and. It's a decent price, and it's definitely worth that price, but if you're a beginner looking for a big cigar, this is probably something you'd want to try. Or if you're just not a big, constant cigar smoker. Because you do have some a lot of good flavours in this so far, a lot like the Toro. And it's, it's never going to be overpowering. So, you know, I'm guessing this is probably the cigar most people will, you know, enjoy at least. I think there's definitely a lot more woodiness up front, but the um, the sort of sweet peat. I I can't, every time I say peat, I just think of a guy called Pete. But um, yeah, I think that's probably dominating that a little bit, especially in the aftertaste. Yep, lots of nuttiness. It's a pretty profound flavour this. So um, yeah, I'm enjoying this so far. Decent amount to go. I mean, we're 20 minutes in. Who knows? This could be hour and a half, maybe two hours. Depends. A lot of people seem to have different different smoke times than I do. I seem to be in the middle, so uh, maybe someone could get this two hours. Who knows? Although it is a little bit on the longer side to hold, so you might want to tap this ash off whenever you can. So I'll see you in the next segment of this next time something interesting happens with it. So see you in a minute. So um, 35 minutes in roughly, so far so good. Just a short quick update on the taste. The ash didn't actually fall off and knocked it off myself. I just felt a little bit overwhelmed with some ash hanging about here. Didn't want that to fall on my keyboard. Insanely good enjoyable scar, no flavor changes so far. We are about halfway up to the band, but we are definitely not halfway on the scar. We still got, I know we're probably past the first third by just a little bit. Taste wise still phenomenal. Incredibly nutty. No spiciness anywhere to be found. Very pleasant tasting. We also had a debate on this in my live stream chat. We had to have a debate on this. We we answered the world's you know most needed questions in our live stream chat, and we have come to the conclusion that ice gems are actually biscuits, not crackers. You know the um the biscuit part of it, not the frosting, of course. You know the questions that matter. Um. Enjoying this very much so far. The burn has been phenomenal. When I knocked off, uh, knocked off the ash, I touched up a little bit, but that was just you know my own little bit of paranoia. But it's gone so well so far. I 
incredibly tasty. Very nutty. Um, as I said, there's still the hint of wood. I wouldn't say cedar, but... Apparently I've come to the correct conclusion by assuming that ice gems are biscuits, but that one's up for debate. And I lost that debate, it's biscuits now apparently. Probably a little shade of earthiness now, maybe in the back. You know, just a little bit, just lingering on the back. No real other flavours, I mean a little bit of peat I guess, that's probably just the sweetness in this. But yeah, it's going insanely good, this has been a very good smoke. And it's actually already lasted an alright amount of time, it's you know, 37 minutes now. Just to get to this far in, we still got a lot of way to go. Very good. If the flavour changes, I'll get back to you then. If not, maybe an hour in, maybe close to the band, I'll be making the next segment of that. So I'll see you then. So we are an hour in, an hour and a minute. Just going to take the band off here. The other ash fell off, but the same as the first one, to be honest. So, you know, it's holding sash pretty well on this cigar. I believe on the Toro and the Double Gordo, it just... Uh, I don't know, the ash seemed to fall off pretty easily. It didn't last too long. I noticed it's been getting the tiniest bit spicier. And I think it is a little earthy spiciness, but you never quite know. But yeah, it's still firmly on the palate, a very nice nuttiness. This thing's been fairly consistent the whole way through so far. It's been very good. Very enjoyable, very light, very pleasant. Now, a little bit of flavour, definitely a good bit of flavour anyway. I'm going to say it's very welcome to flavour. It does taste um, a little bit more like generic tobacco now that our finesse is coming into it. But, yeah, it's doing pretty good, I think. Still very strong in the nuttiness, a little bit of the woodiness in there. I want to say the, yeah, sort of the midget gem. We're going to debate this forever. Not not midget gem, ice gems. Uh, that that little bit of taste is still always going to be there, but um, yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's an aftertaste. Um, it's not a very smoky taste, which is a little bit surprising. Uh, speaking of which, I've got a window open and this room hasn't filled with smoke. I usually have a window open and if I have a big, you know, cigar that's putting out, that's very potent, then even with a window open, when I walk back in this room, I'm like, whoa, it just hit me. With this, no, it's generally pretty good. This isn't going to cause you many problems. Still silky smooth. Very nice tasting. You're probably fine to have even just a couple, one or two puffs on this, maybe every minute. So, uh, yeah, I think this is going very good. Definitely very happy with, it, happy with it right now. We are one minute, no, one hour, three minutes in. Very, very good. And I have no idea when the next review segment on this will be, but probably, you know, closer to the end. So I will see you in the next review segment. So um, this is going to be the last section of this review. It is pretty much an hour and a half in, hour 29 minutes. And yeah, this is where we're at. A little bit of spice. With your average Cuban, you get to the end and you're like, usually a good, decent, overpowering bit of spice, which is very good and flavorful if you like that kind of thing. But with this, it's a decent amount of spice, still very flavorful, but that's pretty much it. It's not overpowering, none too much in it. Overall, very um, light scar, probably for, I think anyone would happy with, uh, be happy with this. I think it's a very good cigar. Sorry, I had the um, I had a blue window open, so everything looked blue. Flavor-wise, it's been very good, very nutty throughout. Even now, the spice is sort of along those lines. It's it's pretty good. I would probably give this a solid nine out of ten. It's a very good cigar, decent value as it is. 
very good length. I prefer this to the Toro a little bit. It's just a little bit of a more relaxing smoke. Less, you know, you know, extra plumes of smoke. So yeah, very um, very good. You could probably manage two hours out of this, but we're an hour and a half in. If you're a little bit of a slower smoker, I tend to be, as I said, along the middle. So, very good quality cigar. All the quality is great. I had no problems with it at all. Decent price. No real complaints about this. Very good. The only thing I would say is, um, you know, it is on the lighter body side. So if you're into the full bodied or the very heavy flavor, this probably isn't the scar for you. The classic grown tobacco is probably a little bit more for you. That That's generally pretty good and tends to be a little bit more full body. So thanks for watching this review. Don't forget to check out my Facebook page. I post a lot of content there. You don't get to see here. I let people know of when I live stream, all that kind of stuff. And thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next review.